uh, so far, the workout's been going great. Uh, with uh, the group pra uh, practices starting to start, um, you know, it's really just helps us with the, with the team unity. You know, we could do three and four-man groups of four, and now we get the whole team get to see exactly how everyone's playing together and whatnot. I feel it's been good. You know, uh, we get a chance to go at each other a little bit. You know, we get to, instead of four, instead of four guys having eight guys and stuff, you get to play four and four and three and three a little bit more. So, I mean, it's been fun. We've been getting after it. Uh, just just ball handling, ball moves, and stuff like that. I mean, uh, you know, with Cody coming in, I feel like I'm gonna be able to step out a little bit more. So I want to, you know, kind of work on, you know, explosion type stuff and stuff like that. Um, more than anything, I think you just grow up. You know, you just you just kind of realize what just what it takes, and you know, you can't. You realize that it's gonna be hard work, and uh, you know you just gotta embrace it instead of instead of running from it and stuff like that. And I feel like that's what I've done. In terms of uh, the double double, really, really Oh yes, sir. I feel it is. I feel it is. You know we're gonna have we're gonna have Cody down there eating some glass too. So I mean it's gonna be pretty tough, but I think I can do it. Yeah, you're not a senior, but you only have two years left. Is there a sense of urgency that hey, okay, this year you really have to turn? You personally really have to turn. Oh yes, sir, I feel that way. You know um, I only have two years. I'm on a down slope of my career now, so I mean. It's going downhill now, so you you know you want to win and want to win fast. I am. Oh, yes, sir, I do. I mean, uh, we realize that, you know, the, the time is now. You know, you know, we don't have time to wait. We got, a, we got some senior guys that, you know, want to get something done while, they're, while they've been in Indiana. And we don't want to, you know, send them out with, the, with a losing record or something like that. So, I mean, the sense of urgency is definitely there. And, you know, we've been working hard. Oh, yes, sir, no doubt. I mean, if we didn't make it, I feel like it'll be a failure to a failure to our season. You know, uh, with with what we got now, and uh, you know, time is now. Will, who has impressed you most in their development this summer? I can't pick exactly one guy out, but uh, you know, Christian's definitely uh, worked hard, and uh, Victor as well, and uh, all you know, the three freshmen coming in too. You know, really just trying to figure out the program and how you know things work. They've done a great job. So, um, you know, really everyone's been working hard uh, progressively this summer. So. What did you tell this freshman about how the program works and how they kind of make that, that transition? You know, I don't really tell them much. Uh, it's kind of a thing with freshmen, you kind of just want to learn on their own because it kind of um, helps them in a sense. But, you know, they, they, they learn from what you do and they follow after and uh, get to show them a good example. So, uh, but yeah, they've really caught on and they've been doing well. Where do you see your, your role? Yeah, I mean, I definitely a guy that can do multiple things. You know, uh, you know, offensive rebound, defensive rebounding, playing, playing good defense. So, um, really, somebody that just can do everything. And just, you know, not gonna uh, back down any task. Pretty much. Well, are you a guard? You know, um, yeah. I mean, whatever. You know, whatever it needs to be done. To, it, usually, when, the, when guys talk about a guard or four, they're talking about guarding somebody. Um, so, you know, if I can guard a big or guard a guard, if I can guard both positions, then it doesn't really matter. I've had to mix up last year. I didn't do too much, too great of a job, but uh, you know, uh, with a little bit of experience, I think that will help me out this year. So. I've gotten a lot stronger. I don't want to uh, put put on more muscle than I have more anything. I'm, my weight is about the same. I'm about still around 225, 230. So I mean, I hadn't really put on any, but I, I've definitely got stronger in the weight room. What did you guys take away from the pro am this summer? You know, being able to play at a higher level. I was just fun. It was great to compete against those guys. You know, you just want to. I kind of use it as a measuring tool, just to see, just to see where you're at with those guys, and uh, you know, get a chance to 
play some different competition and get them down. I feel like I measured pretty good. You know, I really wasn't there too much because of, you know, stuff like classes and stuff here. But, I mean, when I did go up there and play, I feel like I played pretty well. Well, I mean, he's going to draw a lot of attention, you know, more than anything. And, uh, you know, he's a big guy that can pass the ball. He, he can see, he can pass. And, um, you know, that's what we need. We, we need somebody that can, you know, he, he can also finish down there. So, I mean, that's going to help us a lot, too. Oh, yes, sir, I do. Yeah, I do. How do you say you match up those smaller guys? I feel like I, I do all right. I mean, um, you know, it's going it's to be a challenge, and, you know, I, I'm up for it. And um, whether it's Gardner, uh, you know, uh, it's not really any small threes in any way. I mean, it's, it's kind of 6'7", six, 6'8", six, so I'll be all right. Going back to the other question, how do you feel you have I thought it was a great experience um, as well. Uh, Jordan and I got to play on the same team, which was, uh, which was good. And, uh, you know, it was like – what Christian said earlier, just about you know matching up with different players of different, um, I guess, professional levels was, uh, was really good time. Christian, what did you learn about kind of smaller guys? I guess when you look back at maybe your success with some players last year, kind of guard guys on the perimeter, just what did you learn to do well? What did you feel like? What did you think was going to kind of improve on? I guess or just be something you need to get better out there. I just use what I have more than anything. You know, be be long. Be you know, use your length. You know. Um, don't get up and you know pressure guys too much because I feel like I can do do multiple things with my uh, wingspan and, and you know how tall I am and stuff like that. So that's that's my main thing. Uh, I'm not really sure what you mean by get something done on the court. Uh, Every year we have the same mindset going into it. You know, it doesn't change by year of, you know, we're going to get this or that. So, I mean, every year we come with this strong mindset of trying to win games, and I'm sure Christian will be backing up on that as well. I mean, well, I feel like we're ready. I mean, we got. You know, we got a lot of veterans that have played a lot of minutes, and uh, you know, I've been, I've been on the court since I was a freshman. Uh, Jordan as well. So I mean, the sense of urgency is there. You know, um, you know, I, I almost feel like a senior as, as many minutes as I've played, and, and and Jordan as well, and the other guys that came in with me. So I mean, the sense of urgency is definitely there. I think guys are more comfortable in a sense because you know they're veterans, um, so they know what to expect, what's expected from them, so they can give you know their maximum effort or maximum expectancy, I should say, for uh, for that. And then uh, for the freshmen, you know, it's it's better for them because they get to learn from what the older guys do. So really, it's uh, you know it's a, an advantage that we have. Uh, what was your question again? And his question was uh, because. Oh yeah, I feel like I mean I feel like it's more player driven now more than anything because we we're a veteran team you know we kind of we kind of hold each other accountable more than anything we kind of just embrace embrace the hard work we know we know the workout's gonna be hard going into it and you know we try to just attack it and uh, you know with veterans we talk we talk to the younger guys and we push them through. Oh yeah, I mean when I came in I I, I really didn't I it wasn't really any veterans you know I came in kind of. Kind of on the downside and stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, it's like we're leaders now more than anything. We're the veterans. So, I mean, we kind of take on that challenge, take on that role. We heard a lot about off-season conditions you guys put in the program. How does that transition? How do you, see, how do you guys see that transition in next year? Uh, well, you know, with conditioning, um, it's you know, pretty obvious that you can uh, you know, go up and down longer and things like that and strength-wise. Um, you know, when, when you're more conditioned and stronger, you're, you're just a better player in a sense. So, um, you know, it's helped guys 
uh, get through things um, because our summer workouts are tough. So uh, they've definitely prepared us for uh, our upcoming season. The bus. The um, for me, uh, I say conditioning every time. You know, uh, I'm not one of those players that love to run and stuff like that. Love to condition, but Will, on the other hand, he can he can run all day. So I don't know. I don't know what the toughest part for him is. Oh, uh, sprints. I mean, we don't we don't really do too many too much distance. I mean, when we run, we we basically do sprints. But enough strength that it makes a long distance. I mean, it helps. I mean, you get you get you go you get different views on different things. You know, um, and um, so, you know some guys relate to guys differently, and uh, you know if. If you're doing something different, another coach pointed out, you know, it's it's all great. I mean, they have so much knowledge of the game um, from being in the same position as coach. So you know, they can take kind of take a step back and just focus more on, um, you know, not really like little things, but things that can help you improve. Um, and so they can kind of just just focus more. I mean, he's a great motivator. He's a great icon to look up to. You know, you really can't, you know, you really can't say too much about basketball. But you know, he can tell you about, you know, just life and you know about just pushing on through tough things. You know, I know I'm sure when he was here, he went through a lot of tough things. So, I mean, just having him here is, is a great experience. I mean, a good amount. You know, you, you see the pictures and whatnot around, and and uh, you know, you see all-time leader scoring Big Ten and things like that. You know, it's just you know, it's it's definitely something that you you hear a lot. And uh, you know, we talk about the tradition of of Indiana. His name is one of the top of the list. So uh, I mean, you kind of have to know. Oh, you mean coming in, coming into Indiana? Yeah. Uh, not too much. You know, I'm Alabama football type of guy, so I mean. I don't really know too much about Indiana basketball, but you know, as you as you get up here, you learn. What have you seen from Derek over the summer? I know he battled injuries throughout his career, and you guys both came at the same class. How important is he to possible? Oh, he's very important. You know, uh, as long as Derek stays healthy, he's going to be able to help us a lot. You know, he's going to be able to give us a, another big body on the inside. He's going to be able to rebound. He's going to be able to stretch the defense because he can shoot the ball. And uh, you know, if as long as Derek stays healthy, I feel like he will be in great shape. I mean, it's going to be tough. I mean, it, the Big Ten always reloads every year. I mean, you know, good guys go out and, and, and you know, good guys come in. So, I mean, it's, it's always going to be tough. And, you know, you're always going to have your, your teams like the Ohio States and the Wisconsin and, 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 and the people like that. That's, that's, that's always going to be tough no matter whether it seems like they're having a down year or not. I mean, they're, they're always going to be tough.